Guys! Oh, damn! But we pulled an ultimate rare! $44 and 63 cents! Four points! What's up, guys? And uh, welcome back to another epic versus this time from the title above you guys know the drill this is going to be the ots versus now i never got a chance to open up o ots 23 but i also got my hands on the latest and greatest ots 24. now obviously i'm not sure how this versus is going to go because there's a lot of cards that are just plain not good to get and since there's so many of these packs, well, we'll see how it goes. But if you guys want to see more of the OTS versus, let me know in the comments down below. But before we get started with the unpacking here, I did get a proposed challenge that I wanted to give out to a buddy of mine known as BarbieBags05. If you guys recall, we did do a video together, Paldean's Faith, and that was some pretty epic versus pulls from that set definitely check it out but she did ask me to propose a challenge of her in terms of a makeup challenge that she can do essentially from Yu-Gi-Oh! but of course tune to the end of the video to find out what that challenge is for Barry Betts 05. Let's go ahead and go back to these uh, packs real quick. I had these packs for a very long time but I waited for this exact date to do that. Now let's talk about a little bit on OTS 23 or some of the high value pulls from this set obviously you want that ulti that ultimate rare and of course the highest value from ots 23 is that enemy controller ultimate rare at 44 dollars and 63 cents the next card here is the kurikara uh da vinci carnate i guess <laughs> ultimate rare of course at 32 dollars and 47 cents and the other ultimate rare is the big welcome labyrinth ultimate rare 23 dollars and 68 cents as we flip over to OTS 24, the highest value from here is, this is actually really cool for me, and I hope I get it, is a return of the Harpy's Feather Duster, ultimate rare, at a whopping $107.99. For the highest rarity is the Chaos Angel, ultimate rare, at a whopping $122.99 of this recording session. And of course, the third hot highest rare is another of the ultimate rares, Rock of the Vanquisher. And that is $41.99. So definitely some high value pulls from this set. But of course, there's a lot of duds as well. But who knows? Who knows what we'll get? And since I have so many of these packs, I have about 30 packs each. Um, each pack, of course, comes with only three cards. Keep that in mind. So I'll be opening probably two packs per session. But before we get started, you guys want to drill. Press a like for luck. And let's do this. Now, guys, for those that have watched my previous verses, you guys know the drill. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is one point. If it breaks $5, that is two points. If it breaks $10, that is three points. If it breaks $20, four points if it breaks fifty dollars that is five points and if it breaks the coveted six pointer that is a hundred dollars above plus yeah i messed that up but you guys got know the drill there's actually quite a few cards here that do break that coveted six pointer but it's going to be kind of a, a downward struggle for OTS 23. So let's see if they can actually do this. Going in this match, we have the official tournament store pack number 24 versus the official tournament pack number 23. Let's do this. All right. We're going with, um, I don't think this didn't came out last year. Yes, but obviously there was other packs that came out with OTS. Um, I think it was a 22 came out last year as well. I'll put, probably put the date annotated right there. But uh, yeah, though uh, I think they come out with at least once or twice a year. I don't know what the uh, pack trick is, but it's, it's probably somewhere in the middle, I bet. All right, so we have Dark Hole. Oh yeah. And then we have the Orgdaric Water Lily. And our first card is a super rare, of course, probably very, very common. The Labyrinth sh uh, Stovey Turby? To to Torby, I guess? Yeah? All right, let's check out this value. So this one is $2.23. So that is, of course, one point for OTS 23. So next, OTS 23. Now, I, I'm, um, I definitely want to collect more of these OTS. Um, I recently picked up 
some of the older OTS packs, and I'll definitely want to share those in due time. But if you guys want to see more OTS in the future, let me know as well in the comments down below. We have a TGI EM1, the DD Crow, and a super rare here of the Rescue Ace Perventer. Nice, not too bad. Another point, this is $1.34. Again, one point. So good start so far for OTS 23. All right, going into OTS 24. All right, we have the Raid Raptor Force Shrinks. The uh, Majespector Tempest. And a super rare of the Cornfield Coil. Not too shabby. This is two points. Sorry. <laughs> it's two dollars. One point. This actually might be neck to neck. Who knows? It might just be that one card that sets it apart. Or that one pack that it's like a, a dud of an opening. Okay, we have the Raiders Wing. The Bizer Shock. And a super rare of the Unchained Souls of Sarvara. This is $1.98. Again, one point. Wow, we are tied two to two already. All right, back to 23. If, if this somehow ends up as a, as a tie, yeah, I, I don't have any more packs of these, so we'll just have to kind of go with it. Um, we have the TG Booster Raptor. The DD Crow. And a super rare of the TG Star Guardian. Ooh, it's a dud. This one's only 11 cents. All right, so OTS 24 might have a shot of catching up. All right, one, going back to 23. All right, we have the Wad Giraffe. Wad Giraffe, something like that. An electric giraffe Pokemon. We have the Dark Hole yet again. And we have Emergency! Super rare. Ooh, another dud. 79 cents. So that is a no points. All right. OTS 24 has a shot of catching up and taking the lead, I should say. All right. We have the um, Mary. Mer Marionette, Mar 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 Marionette, I guess. Marionette might. Marinette, I don't know. Cyanet Mining. And a super rare of the Terrors of the Overroot. This is $1.99. That is all one point. All right, we have the Fire Flint Lady. The Electric Virus. Crazy little artwork there. Looks like someone... Not, no, no offense, but it looks like a five-year-old made that. But if a five-year-old did submit a drawing for it and it became a Yu-Gi-Oh card, that's pretty epic. Uh, we have the Pearly Sleepy Memory Super Rare. So obviously Super Rare is going to be very, very common. Very, very hard to get that Collector's Rare. Or sorry, the Ultimate Rare. The Ulti. Even this card is worth $1.96. That is a one point. And just like that, we have a two point lead. All right, 23. I don't think 23 has a, a two point or anything like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to get an ultimate rare to get a, a higher than a one pointer. So obviously, uh, in order for this pack to catch up, we need like back to back duds with uh, OTS 24. We have the giraffe mix of return. And obviously we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of dupes very, very quickly. The raptor. And of course, that labyrinth stogie, which we knew was one point. All right, Supreme King Gate Infinity. The what uh, chimera. And a super rare of the Dinomorphia intact. I don't believe we saw that before yet. Ooh, only 74 cents, so that is zero points. It seems like OTS 24 might be victorious here. 
unless we somehow pull an ulti from 23. All right, back to 24. We have the Raider's Wing. The Bizer Shock. And we have the Unchained Souls of Sarvara. So we did see this one already. $1.90, so that is, of course, one point. All right, Bizer Shock yet again. The Raid Raptor Tribute Alanius. And a super rare, the uh, Purdy Leap, question mark. <laughs> this is $1.99, so that is another point for 24. A three point lead so far for 24. All right, back to 23. Now granted, the 24 just came out, so prices might not be exactly perfect um, in terms of like the where, where it should fall. But um, relatively speaking, this should be where the market is for the majority of the time. We have the uh, uh, Shino Bird or Shino Bird uh, Calling. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. The new card here, the Labyrinth Ku Clock. Looks very, very cute actually. Adorable. This is $1.36, so that is indeed a pointer. All right, Supreme King Gate Infinity again. And the Supreme King Gate Zero. And another one of these, another dupe. But of course, this was indeed a pointer. All right, back to 24. We have the Raid Raptor Call. The Fire Front Lady. And a new card here, the Labyrinth uh, Cradral <laughs> Words, I guess, super rare. This is $1.98, so that is indeed a pointer. All right, we have the Majespector Tornado. The Raid Raptor Call. And we saw this one early as well. This was indeed a pointer. All right, 23. Definitely needs to catch up. Still down by three, I believe. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. The uh, Ayuya, the Old Daltic Redlands, I guess. A new card here, Pulling the Rug. It's literally a, car a picture of pulling the rug. <laughs> Not too shabby, a dollar and seventy-one cents for this card, and that is indeed a pointer. We saw the remnants make a return. The OG one, and a new card here: the TT Trident Launcher. Links, very cool looking. But yes, wow, only eleven cents though, only eleven cents, so not even a pointer. Not looking good for 23. Do we have any comments of what we may maybe a more fair chance maybe? But then again, like obviously it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to do a a verse with OTS because it's, it's, it's almost based on luck to some degree. But uh, I've always thought these are these are interesting versuses. Versuses? Yeah, that's a word, right? And we saw this card already as well. I believe this was a pointer. All right, the tornado. The shock, and another of the the labyrinth car we just we just literally just saw, but that was indeed a pointer though. Wow. Now, in terms of be, uh, as a collector of myself, like since I do have a lot of dupes, a lot of it will probably go into my online store. I'll probably, I'll probably just sell that off as well as uh, you know obviously I'll, I'll keep the ones that I want to keep as a, a collectible piece for my binders. So we have the Affinity and Beyond. The Chimera and the TG Star Guard. I believe, I don't think this was worth a point though, fortunately. Yep, only 11 cents. Only 11 cents. So no points for that one either. All right. New card here TG XI HL. Some random like serial numbers. TG Hyper Lab. Ooh! 
Guys! Oh, damn! Terrible centering, though. Terrible centering. But we pulled an ultimate rare! The enemy controller ultimate rare! Terrible centering, as I mentioned. But that is indeed some points. And possibly what they need to catch up. Wow. Yep, this is $44.63. That is four points. Wow. What a beautiful card. Terrible scenery though. That, you, like, obviously, I, I, I like to grade my ultimate rares, but wow, that left to right is terrible. Top to bottom too, actually, too. But I don't know. Maybe I'll grade, grade it for the, uh, I don't know, nostalgic reasons, I guess. And just like that, we have caught up 10 to 10. I was not expecting that, but at the same time, you kind of need 23 to get some points. You need them. Now let's see if we get some ultimate rares from the 24 set. All right, we have the Cyanet Mining. The Electric Virus. Another of these Pearly Yeet cards, which was just one point. All right. Now the card that I really want from 24 is that Harpy's Feather Duster. So if they get that card ultimate rare, I definitely would have made my day. The Raider's Wing. There's a new card here. Uh, Sarfira, Queen of the Dragons. And another one of these cards, but that was still worth one point. Now 23, if 23 needs to win, we need to pull another ultimate rare to secure the victory against 24, because right now it's still a two point lead. We have the King Dragon, the Gate Zero, and another of the Pulling of the Rug, which we found earlier was indeed one point. All right, the Infinity and beyond. The DD Crow and the Ku Clock, which was indeed one point as well. Pretty much neck to neck, guys. Pretty much neck to neck. All right, 24. But as we've seen, 23 has a lot of dud cards. So it's very, very hard to uh, catch up with 23 unless, again, I pull another ultimate rare. We have the Puppet Paint. The Marriott Might. And the Purely Sleepy Memory, which I believe was a pointer. We still got a lot more packs to go. I think we're about just, just under, or just over halfway. All right, the Raid Raptor. The Hymn of Light. And another of this card. <laughs> I have so much of these cards already, but it will still work a pointer. All right, back to 23. Let me pull another ultra rare to secure the victory, potentially the victory for 23. The Chimera. And also, by the way, the card that, that, that I got from 23, the ultimate rare, was indeed the card that I wanted to pull because it did nostalgic for me. And of course, this Stovey, which was indeed a pointer. All right, the King Gate is zero. The TGX1. And another pulling of the rug. Again, another pointer. Right now, 23 is like trying to hang on. Trying to hang on. But would it last until the end? Tune in to next episode. I'm just kidding. Of Dragon Ball Z. And it's still a potential of getting an ultimate rare with 24 as well. The Senate Mining. The Queen of the Dragons and the coils of the cornfield. I believe that was a needed pointer. $2 for that one, but that was a pointer. All right, come on, Harpy Feta Dust here. I'll be pretty sick if I pull that one. The Hymn of the Light. The Raid Raptor Call. And the Unchained Souls of Sorry Vara. And I dropped it, but it was indeed a pointer, if I recall. What if I did my point system right? <laughs> 
All right, back to 23. The tension is high for those in the 23 ballpark. ballpark. All right, the Chimera of what? The Gate Infinity. I believe this is a new card. I don't remember that seeing this one. Soul of the Supreme King. Super rare only though. Nope, only 59 cents, so no points. So that's not looking good for 23. It needed points. It needed to hang on. All right, the Booster Raptor. The Giraffe. And possibly another zero pointer here, the Star Guardian. I don't think that was worth any points at all. So yeah, Whew. that is a low blow for 23. All right, we have the Raid Raptor Call. The Tribute Lanius. And a card that just never wants to stop being pulled. But it was still worth a pointer. It's quite possible that I've already pulled all the super rares that I could from both sets. Because I haven't seen anything super different. I might be missing like one or two maybe, but really, really close. The Queen of the Dragons. The Puppet Plant. Oh my god, yes! The card that I requested and asked for. Again, terrible centering with these freaking ultimate rares. But yes, guys, the Harpies Feather Duster Ultimate Rare. Wow! And I think with this one card, it just takes the complete lead. Because this card is still worth over $100. And you guys know what that means. You guys know what that means. But yes, this card is $101.97. That, my friends, probably game as well, but that is a six pointer. Wow, the two cards that I want Energy Controller and Harvey Spare Duster. Now, what's crazy, like, uh, like, obviously there's ultimate, these, there's all these other cards there in the set, but. Those are the two that I really wanted, and I just happened to pull it. I, I like summoned it into my hands. At this point, I don't I don't know if uh, if 23 can catch up right now, but we're still gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these cards. In fact, I might go ahead and like open up the rest of these to see if we get even close to this. All right, the Gate Zero, the DD Crow. Hey, it is a new card at least. The Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike, Super Rare. This is $1.17, so that is indeed a pointer. The Booster Raptor. The Shino Board Calling. And another of the Motorbike, Super Rare, which we knew was indeed a pointer. All right, we're still, we're continuing on with 23 right now. The Gate Zero. The Dark Hole. And the Stovey, which was indeed a pointer. The TGX-1. The Water Lily. And the Soul of the Supreme King. I don't think that was worth any points. The Giraffe. The Dragon Dark Worm. The TT Trident Launcher. I don't think that this is worth a point either. Not looking good. Not looking good. Trident Launcher, yeah, 11 cents, so no points on that one. All right. The DD Crow. The Dark Hole. We do get another Ultimate Rare. Ooh. The Big Welcome Labyrinth. Ultimate Rare for TG, sorry, uh, OTS 23. All right, this one is $23.68. That is four points. Even with that, it still has not caught up. And I haven't even pulled the rest of my 24s yet. Can we pull another ultimate rare from 23? Possibly the other one missing that I, that, that I need. The Booster Raptor. The Lily. And that launcher again makes a return zero points. The remnants, the calling, 
and the intact, which I don't, I don't think was worth any points. Yeah, no points on that one. So I can confidently say that 24 definitely won this battle, even without pulling the rest of these cards. Because if you notice that 24 was at least getting one point per pack opening. The Dark Worm, the Affinity, and the Ku Clock, which was indeed a pointer. All right, last three packs for 23. The Giraffe. TGEM and the emergency which if I recall was also zero points as well the gate zero the HG and another intact which was also zero points my right, final pack for 23 guys press a like for luck because it this card has to be an ulti in order for, for it to make sense to possibly catch up. Possibly another enemy controller. The Raptor. The Lily. And of course the final card, which I don't think was worth any points. The Supreme King of the Souls. I still have these amount of cards still left for 24. Right now it holds at 23 points to 22. But out of curiosity, I'm just going to go ahead and fast pace this. Because even with this... We know for a fact that 24 wins, but I'm curious to see if I can get another ultimate rare from here. So we're gonna go for it. If there's any new cards, I'll definitely show it off. All right, we do pull a new card here. Terrible centering on this one. The King Dragon Wang Yu, I think. The left to right centering is terrible, my God. What's the, what? I feel like OTS is like one of the worst centering packs I've, I've seen in my life. This one is $4, but with that centering, I'll, I'll back it at $3. That's still only one, one point though. Oh yes! We pull another ultimate rare! Oh yes! Um, just for the suspense of it all. <laughs> we have the Raid Raptor Force Shinx, I guess. The Majest Spectre Tornado. And the other card that I really wanted was the Chaos Angel Ultimate Rare. Wow. Now, of course, this is the highest card you get from OTS24. This is $122.99. Ho damn. Wow. What a beautiful Ultimate Rare. The setting was actually not that bad. I might grade this one. I mean, the top to bottom could be a little bit better, but for the most part, I think it's actually at least a PSA 9. All right, still got like about four more packs from this side. Let's uh, kind of do another fast travel here uh, and see. But of course, as you guys know, it breaks into the mark. That is another coveted six pointer for OTS 24. All right, I think this is a new card as well. This is the DDD uh, Wave High King Caesar from OTS24. This is uh, $2.80. So that was, of course, a guarantee pointer. All right, guys, final pack for OTS24. I mean, you don't have to press a like for luck. We have, we have some amazing pulls throughout this pull session, but I would love to pull another final Final ultimate rare. All right, we have the electric virus, and it better not better not be the same car we always pull. The puppet plant. At least it's different, but it is the DDD Wave High King Caesar again for the final card. That was of course a pointer. All right, guys. Um, now I'm pretty sure I got my points right. The editors, of course, always got my back, but the final score to this is OTS 23 at 22 points and OTS 24 at 40 points. Holy jeez, what a high point game. What a high point game. Probably the highest point game I've ever done, actually. But let's check out some of these ultimate rares that we pulled. Now, the first ultimate rare was that NMB controller. Very, very cool from OTS 23. The next is, of course, the Harpy's Feta Duster from OTS 24. Very, very cool. And then the next highest is the uh, Big 
Welcome a Labyrinth from, I believe, 23. Yep. This wasn't enough to secure the victory because obviously we pulled another coveted six pointer, pretty much two six pointers from the uh, OTS 24. And this is a Chaos Angel. Wow. I never thought I'll pull two six pointers in one video, but that was pretty damn epic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed it. Chaos Angel is definitely grade worthy. I might try to grade another one potentially, uh, but we'll see because the other ones are terrible centering. So it's almost like pointless to grade those, but I'll let you know in the comments down below what I do. But uh, I, I definitely want to do a PSA return video sometime in the summer. I'm trying to see if I can send it out maybe next month or April maybe. Um, but uh, we'll uh, to kind of like make sure I, I pick, um, I receive it by like at least by July or August. I don't know. But uh, nevertheless, that concludes that video. Now going back to that makeup challenge that I talked about in the early video, the card that I definitely want to get a makeup inspired look from is the very first card, especially that we're talking about PSA related, is the very first card that I got PSA graded. And that is of course the Blue Eyes White Dragon card. This is the very first card I ever got graded and I definitely want to see if we can do a makeup inspired look from this. Obviously, I'll send her a better image of this in her in her in her private chat. But I definitely want to see something like this. I don't know how. I don't know what she's gonna do. But definitely subscribe to her channel down below and watch that video when it does go live. Because I definitely want to see how inspired she can from the blue eyes white dragon. So yes. Now before I go, um, I have a lot of potential openings for the the month of March. I have nothing that that's super secure right now. Obviously, we are going into the Battle of Legends, I believe, is chapter one. It comes out very soon. I want to say next week we might have that video. Um, and then of course, I have a couple of these packs that I opened up from, or I got from Walmart. I'm not sure if these are even worth doing a video for, but if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments down below. But I picked up this Chaos box from Walmart. And I also picked up this Mystery Power box as well. So it comes with a variety of different packs. Or we can even do a versus of the Power Cube. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! adding Pokemon Power Cube that we can do, potentially do a versus of as well. Uh, if, 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 if any of these are going to be interesting video, let me know in the comments down below. We could potentially pull a Gengar VX and Charizard GX. Or even some cool cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! side. The Black Wing Armored Master. But yeah, a, a, a lot of cards that I've uh, recently got from Walmart. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments and down below. But love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the view. And definitely check out that makeup challenge and all the all the craziness that is with this video. But love you guys and I'll definitely see you there. My name is Talos. This was Insanity and I'll definitely see you there. Peace.